What is anomalous action? Anomalous literally means not even, and by extension, not on the same level, and by further extension, not normal. So, an anomalous action is one or more specific movements in your daily life that are outside of your normal realm of activities. If you think about it, even doing this course is for you. An anomalous action. One definition of madness and of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. You cannot expect to move from one layer of reality to another while remaining rigidly attached to the current layer of reality with your current way of doing things. That would be. Well, crazy. So, moving from one layer of reality to another requires flexibility, the willingness to move, and the willingness to modify your attitude and approach. This takes practice. Anomalous action gives you that practice. Anomalous action seeks to improve your cognitive, emotional. And dynamic flexibility, so you can easily exit your current layer of reality when the opportunity presents itself. The entire premise of reality transurfing is about your ability to move to higher and better variations of reality that suit you and your intentions in higher ways. This also includes you getting everything that you want, or at least giving it your very best shot. Why else are we here other than to create exactly what it is we desire and to grow from our creations? Most of us will attest that getting what you want is hard to do, and it is when you don't know how. It's so much easier when you do know how. Unfortunately, most of us find ourselves confined to our comfort zones, prisoners of our own complacency, rigidly well practiced in doing the same thing over and over again, and totally unpracticed in being flexible enough to cultivate the thoughts, feelings, and actions we need to perform to take advantage of opportunities when they appear. Even worse, we can be so rigid in the way that we perceive things, and our perception so filled with filters that blind us to a broader vision, that we never see the opportunities at all. As human beings, we typically strive to defend our comfort zones. We don't necessarily design our comfort zones because they just well happen. Our comfortable house, our cushy nine-to-five job, our relationship that well might not be perfect, but it is better than not having one at all. The same can be said for being in an uncomfortable housing situation, being in a job or employed by a company or person that we cannot stand, or being in a relationship that is unfulfilling or even harmful. These may not be what we want, but they are the devil we know. So we continue to maintain a comfort zone that appears to be better than no zone at all. But if you're not growing, you're stagnating, y'all. <laughs> In a life built by default, sooner or later, you will end up feeling creatively dead, lacking joie de vie. Or were struggling with depression and hopelessness, and that's when your comfort zone becomes a dun 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 discomfort zone. The challenge of exiting the comfort zone or the discomfort zone is uncomfortable and scary because the you that is leading a life of complacency or quiet desperation is currently resonating at the frequency. Of your zone, so it's harmonic and self-sustaining, 
while the space outside of your zone is resonating at a different frequency, which is disharmonic to you. For beginning trans surfers, it can be extremely challenging to move into a space that seems discordant, so oftentimes we don't even try. The risk of being wrong about your choice to move to a discordant space can overwhelm the probable reward and joy of moving, so you end up staying right where you are. The reality transurfing way is not to go outside of your comfort zone, but to expand your current comfort zone so that you can practice gently easing yourself to the greater reality that is waiting for you. To understand the boundary between your comfort zone, which is your experience of life, and the space beyond that comfort zone, which is everything else, you will need to learn about the alternative space. The alternative space is everything beyond us that also completely envelops and includes us. The only difference between us and everything else is what we filter out from the whole. Everything that we currently have, everything we currently experience, originates from the alternative space. The interaction between you and the alternative space is your current experience of reality our layer of reality, and our life track. It has become so easy to fall into default mode, coasting along our life track until the track is such a well-worn groove that it has become a rut that we are going to call a reality rut. Imagine yourself walking and moving through your specific layer of reality each day. What are you doing? We are sure that at least 75 to 90% of your activities are normal or routine. You wake up in the morning. Your feet come off the bed. You go to the bathroom. You look in the mirror. You say blah to yourself. You toilet, you have breakfast, you take a shower, blah, 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 you go to work, blah, 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 you go home, have dinner, plop down in front of the TV, blah, 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 you go to bed, wake up, rinse, repeat. How's life, Joe? Oh, you know, same old, same old. Welcome to Dreeryville, the place where people stagnate, grow rigid, and blindfold themselves so that they no longer see that they are wallowing in their septic pools of mediocrity. You have become complacent and live in complacency mode. Complacency mode is more about existing than being alive. In this mode, you have settled for merely surviving instead of thriving. You've effectively hypnotized yourself against any hope of perceiving any new information, any new opportunities or events that could trigger access to another life track. You are so deep in your reality rut that you are blind to guiding signs, deaf when opportunity knocks, completely clueless about inspiration and oblivious to those brief moments where the cause and effect of outer intention might offer you the golden ticket out of Dreeryville. In complacency mode, cognitive, emotional, and physical rigidity has us by the balls or ovaries, <laughs> and our hearts and minds have followed. In complacency mode, our practice rigidity, our inability to be cognitively, emotionally, and dynamically flexible has crippled our capacity to recreate our experience of reality. 
Our intention here is to demonstrate to you that there is real value in stepping outside of and beyond your reality rut. Just to repeat an important point, this course is not about doing anything that you are uncomfortable with. It is about expanding your repertoire of what is comfortable. This is a very important distinction. This course is about training your action muscle through anomalous action. It's about creating the anomalous you, because the anomalous you is the more expanded, flexible, dynamic version of you. The anomalous you is more awake. The anomalous you has broader vision. It can spot opportunity when outer intention presents it to you. The anomalous you is accustomed to moving, so it can move into a new layer of reality that the complacent you can't even conceive. Training your action muscle and creating the anomalous you is like you removing the metaphorical signposts in your reality rut that reads, Outer intention, opportunity, and inspiration not welcome here. Follow the steps in this course. Become the anomalous you. See the signs as they appear. Hear opportunity when it comes a knocking. Open the door and be ready, willing, and able to take inspired anomalous action, the only type of action that truly activates higher variations of reality. Open the door even if opportunity isn't there yet, knowing that opportunity will come, and invite in all the gifts the outer intention has been holding for you. Everything that anyone who has ever achieved anything through reality transurfing, whether it's a bank account with more money in it, a career, a relationship, freedom, you name it. Everything has come not only from the knowledge and the concepts, but from taking action, anomalous action. Anomalous action is self-starting. It has to be. Create your own experience of reality or someone, or something, will create it for you. So start now. If you are listening now and feel as though self-starting is just too hard, or that it's for someone else, not for people like me, then sorry, but you've just thrown in the towel and have just forfeited the game. We are here to tell you that anomalous action taking steps to expand your comfort zone and get out of complacency zone and building up your action muscle is the best legitimate way to your new groove, to your higher reality. You've got this. Really, you do. You are absolutely capable of it. Intention and all the steps to get you to clear intention, like frailing, visualization, seeing or claiming advantage, imagining, trans-questioning, and trans-interrogation are all powerful tools, but they are only ever and can only ever be half the equation. The equation is intention plus energy in motion equals materialization Intention and all the steps to get you to clear intention without energy and motion is just desire, which is just excess potential. It's just wishing. Your experience of reality, whether it's a groove or a rut, the version of reality that you are experiencing right now is the culmination of the four attributes of creation. Attribute one, 
Acknowledge that the version of reality you wish to experience, all the things that you would love to be, have, or do, does in fact already exist somewhere in the alternative space. If you have never attempted to nudge your way out of your reality rut, then the first step might be a challenge. Relax. We're going to make it as easy as possible for you. Anomalous action will prepare you to open up to infinite possibilities. Attribute 2. Accept that your thoughts and feelings must align with the version of reality you intend to experience. If you think that the higher and better things in life are intended for others but not for you, and you are content to surrender yourself to a life on the couch watching Netflix or the latest sports game, then you are missing a crucial step in the reality creation experience. Remember, the first step where you must acknowledge that the version of reality that you want to experience does exist, and then align your thoughts and feelings with this version of reality so that all the cooperative elements can resonate to materialize what you want. By expanding your zone of comfort through anomalous action, you will align with the resonance process. Attribute 3. Your actions, including your perceptions, must be aligned with the version of reality you intend to experience. The anomalous action challenge will gradually train your action muscle to align your actions with your intentions so that they will create the resonance necessary for materialization. Attribute 4. Your frequency must align with the version of reality you intend to experience. When you are sitting at home on the couch in the evening watching the schlock brought to you courtesy of the Matrix, you are, by definition, vibrating at a lower frequency. Because of this, only low-frequency realities will resonate with your vibe. You will only get what you give out. Imagine that reality is like a massive staircase. The higher steps correspond to higher frequencies. But the staircase does not and will not climb itself. You have to do the climbing. Anomalous action is the key to climbing to the higher frequencies, especially when it is inspired anomalous action, the sort of action that is right for you as the individual. All you need to do is to start practicing anomalous action. Once you start, you can't help but climb to a higher step. Even a small higher step is an improvement. Just one small step for a transurfer and one giant leap for reality. Every step up will raise your frequency and reality will present you with new resonances. Outer intention is constantly generating waves in exactly the direction of your intention. It's like opening your door with the magical key that you have always held. You just didn't realize it until now. Listen, you are doing this course, right? You know that some part of you is absolutely ready for it. Do the work of this first step in this first module. Then, when you're ready, step two awaits. One small step at a time. One giant leap at a time for, well, you get the picture. You get the reality you want. See you in the next round.